Good morning, everyone, and welcome you to lower body yoga practice. Let's take a comfortable position. Sit it, aligned, shoulders with the hips, ears with the shoulders. And coming to close the eyes and bring awareness to your breath. I'm just coming to gather all that energy. Breathing deep into the navel, into the pelvic floor. Taking a moment to check in, check in with your body. Just how is my body today? How am I feeling today? What are we shifting? What are we releasing? What are we letting go of? Just take a moment to set in an intention for today's practice. Today's practice will focus on the bone tissue, which function is to hold, to support. So breathing deep into the bone tissue, visualize that breath, the prana energy coming in through the spine, down to the sacrum, to the roots. The therapeutic home of bone tissue, sacrum, spine, pelvis. So we'll begin with Anuloma Voloma. We'll do two sets of Anuloma Voloma, 10 rounds each. To begin the practice, to harmonize the breath, to unify the breath. And whenever you're ready and you know what to do, you can begin at any time, do more than 10 perfectly fine. Whenever you're ready, let's breathe to the left, pausing, switching, and exhaling to the right. Inhaling to the right, pausing, switching, exhaling to the left. Inhaling to the left, pausing, switching, exhaling to the right. Inhaling through the right, exhaling through the left, and keep going. Your own flow, eight more rounds. Good morning. Bringing all that prana energy to wake up every single cell, every single tissue in the body. Unifying, harmonizing breath. As you finish, come to pause with your eyes closed, coming to the left. Noticing the breath, meditating on the breath.
and visualizing all the bone tissue receiving this prana, receiving this breath, receiving oxygen, receiving all the nutrients. Visualizing strong bone tissue. Feeling being supported. And second set, Anuloma Valoma. 10 rounds or more. Whenever you're ready, beginning on the left, finishing on the left. Without rushing, pacifying, bhakta, slow breath, coming to pause and enjoying this pause, letting go of the thoughts, letting go of the mind, meditating on the breath. And coming to awareness of bone tissue holding, holding memories, holding its function is to hold. Asking myself, what am I holding? Any anger that I'm holding, any guilt that I'm holding, any emotions, feelings that I'm holding grief, sadness, any attachments to any emotions that we are holding is stored in the bone tissue. in the fascia, in the ligaments, which are related to bone tissue. Coming to Vastrika to release, to let go. Anything that we hold that no longer serves, anything we need to let go. Bring that intention, just bringing awareness to your intention without any expectations and worries and questioning of how am I letting go, just letting go. Vastrika, to set 10 rounds, exhalation, intention, letting go. So take a deep breath in, connect to your intention, and when you're ready, bellows breath, exaggerated. Inhale, exhale through the nose.
On the last one, take a deep breath in and hold. Deep breath into the heart, expand your chest. Oxygenate all that pressure, waking up every single cell in your lungs, in your chest, in your heart, all that pressure waking up, your pineal thyroid gland. Exhale when you're ready. Enjoy the lightness. Notice the softness through your heart space. Notice the emptiness in your mind, in your head. Awareness to the nose, tip of the nose, nostrils, feeling the air, the temperature of the air coming in. And as it flows, watch the flow of this prana energy coming in and up and then down, inward, upward, downward, prana, movement of prana. Inward and down along the spine, down to the sacrum, relax through the lower back. Take a deep breath into your belly and expand through the belly and exhale to relax. And from here, second set, intention to let go. And down. The last one, take it in, all the way in, heart and the belly. Now we bring all that prana energy to the pelvic bowl and breathe in, expand, hold your breath. And when you're ready, exhale to empty. Meditating. The emotions connected to bone tissue, insecurity, loneliness, feeling not supported, feeling ungrounded, feeling not protected. Unresolved anger and fear. We hold in bone tissue as much as we hold in other tissues, organs. Teeth grinding at night, jaw clenching at night is related to bone tissue, emotions, related to stress which is nervous system connected to bone tissue. It all comes together 
So bring awareness to the pelvic ball, to your pelvis, and breathe deep, soft prana into the pelvis. Soften through your lower back, breathing into the sacrum area. Changing the position for Agni Sara. Agni Sara for better absorption, digestion, releasing excess ama. So either seated on your bolster, if you have a yoga bolster, or seated on the edge of your chair. If you can sit on your heels, lengthen the spine. We'll do three sets of Agni Sara and just Pumping the belly on empty, no breath, empty completely. Beginning with deep inhalation to expand. Exhale, draw the navel in and up. Empty completely and from here, massage the belly. Relax and draw the navel in. Relax and draw in as long as you can. As the inhalation rises, come to sit and pause. So helping to release excess ama in the stomach, break up ama with Agni Sara, second set. Feel a little nauseous if there is lots of ama. You may create a little bit of nausea. Lemon, ginger, and honey tea also helps to decrease ama in the stomach. It's a great tea for the season, fall, vata season. It's warming without excess heat. It helps to strip the ama. Therefore, it is detoxifying ginger tea. Last set, Agni Sara. Deep into the belly, relax through the lower back. Exhale out, navel in and up. And inhaling in, relaxing. Pausing, meditating, coming to Shitali, bringing cool prana, like increases like, building stronger bone tissue with Shitali. Visualizing that cool prana flowing in along the spine. Flowing in just like cerebrospinal fluid flows. Seven rounds. Roll your tongue like a straw. And drinking, sipping cool prana in all the way down to the sacrum. Seven rounds.
As you finish Shitali, come to pause. Healthy bones, increasing oily, heavy, smooth, liquid foods throughout the season will help to build healthy bones. Sesame seeds, sesame oil. Coming to Brahmri. Brahmri pranayama, all that vibration. Whenever we are ready, seven rounds, humming, buzzing like a bee. Long exhalation. Balancing thyroid, Bramley.
we will focus this class primarily on Apanavata and femur, the largest bone in the body. So slowly make your way to stand. To stand tall with feet hip distance apart, having your chair for support. And from here, we're going to shift the weight forward, shift the weight back, lift your toes, spread your toes again. Bringing all that energy upon uh, to the toe bones, to the ankle joints, to the lower leg the knee joints, the thigh area. So we're going to bring the hands to the thighs, pressing into the thighs as we shift the weight forward and back. Nice and slowly feeling your toes, spreading your toes, pressing your toes down as you lift your heels and rolling back to the heels. Noticing the muscles of your lower legs, your calves, muscles contracting and releasing, gently hugging through your knee joints, extending, flexing, and bringing that energy, draw that energy into the pelvic floor and lift your pelvic floor. Feel your sit bones, feel your glutes, feel your hamstrings as you gently Shift the weight forward and back, bending your knees, bending your hips, finding the movement of flow. And from here, we're coming to the down through the feet, shift the weight slightly. And as you exhale, lower your pelvis and come into Utkatasana. Press your hands into the mid thigh. Pressing your hands in, anchoring your hands into the thighs, gently pressing as you press, lengthen the spine, open the heart, draw the navel in, lengthen the tail. Take a deep breath into your heart space. And as you exhale, go a little bit lower. Make sure you feel the weight through your toes, maybe even shifting your body forward loading your toes, especially the tips of your toes, pressing down, go down through the big toe, feeling the ball of the big toe, both feet, feeling the arches lift. And from here, inhale, rise up. Standing tall, feet hip distance apart. Go down through your feet, inhale your arms up, all the way up. Take a deep breath in and exhale, lower your hands, extending, stretching as much tissue as you can. And bring your hands back to your lower back. Bringing your hands, wrapping your fingers over your pelvis. Take a deep breath in, lengthen and extend, exhaling, shifting your pelvis forward. Engage your core, micro bend your knees, lift your pelvic floor. And from here, lengthening the spine, staying in gentle back bend. Bring your gaze down, lower your chin down, gazing down on the floor in front of you. And as you inhale, come back to center and exhale, sit back into Utkatasana. Pressing down to your lower back, release your hands, bring your hands to your thighs and press into your thighs. Stretching the tissue, lengthening. And when the inhalation rises, coming to stand. Exhale, coming into Tadasana, mountain pose, and pause. And again, inhale, arms come up. Stretch up, go down through your feet. Exhale, your hands to the back. Inhale, lift, extend, 
Shift your pelvis forward, draw the navel in, lengthen through the lower back. And inhaling, coming back to center. Exhale, sit back into Utkatasana, chair pose. Take a moment here. And as you align yourself, bring your hands to your thighs, gently pressing into your thighs, lengthen the spine. Deep breath in and out. One more breath, feeling that energy through the legs, loading into the femur bones. And then inhaling, coming to stand tall, extend through your knees, through your hips, release your hands, coming to pause, Tadasana. Beautiful. Coming to sit on the chair. And we don't need to draw the right knee in. We're coming to roll forward and back, massaging the sit bone. Put it down through the left foot. And from here, gently rocking, keeping the length through the spine. Draw your pelvic floor in. The core is active. Meditating on the breath as we gently rock forward and back. You can move your ankle, flexing, pointing, extending your foot, bringing some movement, internal rotation, external rotation of the foot. Keeping the connection, belly to thigh. Beautiful. And from here, coming to bring the ankle cross figure four. We know where we're going. We're going to gently oscillate. Move the leg by lifting the leg using the strength of your arms. Gently draw circles. And reverse. Coming to lift the leg any amount, rock side to side. Placing your ankle on top of your thigh, coming to sit tall, seated on the edge of the chair. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, fold from the hip. Folding in, opening the spine, lifting the heart. Relax through the right side, deep breath into the right side. Next inhalation, rising up, cross your legs together, hug your legs together, sit it on the edge of the chair, inhale your arms up, and exhaling, as you exhale, twist to the right side, bring your left arm to the top of your leg, gently pressing in, open the heart, lengthen the spine, exhale, twist even more. Being with your breath, focusing on the navel, lower back. Deep breath into the belly and exhale, twist, rotating to the right side, gazing behind you. Rotate your head, looking back as far as you can. Aligning your nose with your chin. And gently pulsing. Feeling the entire spine, breathing into the cervical spine, breathing into the thoracic spine, the lumbar spine. And 
And then inhaling, lengthening through the entire spine. Exhaling, coming back to center. Bring your feet together, hands on top of your thighs. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Stretching the lower back. Massage your legs down, slide your hands down, maybe touching the ground. Tented fingers or staying right on your shins, lengthen the spine, exhale, coil in, rounding the spine. Deep breath into the lower back, expanding, big balloon breathing. Deep into the pelvic floor, sacrum sides, belly. One more breath here. And from here, walk your hands up to your thighs, draw your elbows in, open your heart, lengthen the spine. And as you inhale, lift, head comes first, heart coming to sit. Beautiful. From here, coming to stand. Now, feet together. Shift the weight forward and back, look down through your toes, pressing all your toes down. Inhale your arms up and exhale your hands down to your back, coming into Utkatasana, sit back, legs together, squeeze your legs together, checking in, make sure your knees don't cross your toes, you can still see your toes, exhale, sit a little bit deeper, lengthen, Feel your sit bones, hug your sit bones, lift your pelvic floor. And then release your hands to your thighs, pressing down to your thighs. Press your legs into your hands, hands into your legs. Draw that energy to the center, finding the center. And then inhaling, rising, exhale, release your hands, stand tall, gather that energy to your pelvis, hug your sit bones, hug your thighs together, pelvis, lift your pelvic floor. And then exhale, release. Now inhaling up, arms come up, exhale your hands to the back. Coming into Utkatasana, sit back, hands to the thighs, and from here, fold forward, extending through your legs, halfway, fold, and massage your legs down, feel that energy of being hugged, being supported, Massaging down with your hands, bring your hands to your thighs and then exhaling, pressing your hands down, your legs, massaging your legs. Inhale, look forward, sit back. Again, coming back to Utkatasana, bring your hands to your thighs, roll your shoulders back, strong upon a loading femur bones leg bones and inhale come to stand strong foundation hug sit bones legs lift your pelvic floor release your hands coming to sit left leg in connect belly to thigh look down through the right foot and from here rocking Focusing on the left sit bone now, Sphige Marma point that sits in the middle of the gluteal fold. We're activating Sphige Marma to bring balance to the lower body. Release sciatica. Gently rocking forward and back. Breathing in, deep prana through the spine to the sacrum. And from here, 
Coming to center and then release your ankle, oscillate using your hand, gently bouncing, finding the movement within the hip. And lifting, draw circles, one direction, the other direction. And then lifting a leg, rocking it side to side. Listening to your body if you need to pause and stretch wherever you are. Always listen to your body. Then lower your foot down, come to lengthen the spine as you inhale, exhale, forward fold. Soften through the left hip. Inhaling, exhaling deeply, as if you could breathe in and out from the hip. Feeling the tissues expanding, softening as you're inhaling and exhale to relax. Your next inhalation, rise up. Crossing your legs, hugging your legs together. Finding a comfortable position here. Inhale your arms up. And then exhale, twist. Right arm comes on top of your left leg. Open up. And align your shoulders. Square your shoulders. Deep breath in, growing tall. Exhale, gazing, looking to the back. Keeping your nose and chin in alignment. And from here, gently pulsing with the breath. Inhaling, coming back. Exhale, twisting more. Inhaling, coming back. Exhale, twist. Thoracic spine, deep breath into the heart. Exhaling from the ribs, feeling the back of your ribs, hugging the heart from behind, hugging into the thoracic spine, plugging in. Breathing into the lower back kidney area, lumbar spine, feeling the rotation of the lumbar spine. One more breath, lengthening, exhale, twist a little bit more, keep that length and then come back to center. Exhale, release, shake it off, tap it off. Feet together, inhale your arms up, all the way up. Exhale, hands together, come into forward fold, connect belly to thighs. Release your hands, bring your hands to the side of your legs for the pressure cooker. So kind of leaning forward in a comfortable position, feeling supported, lift your head, lift your heart, feel your spine. And from here, take a deep breath in as you exhale, press your hands into your legs, the legs into your hands. Deep inhalation. As you inhale, you soften through your hands, relax. And as you exhale, press hands into your legs, legs into your hands. Feel that gentle traction through the SI joints to receive compelled bones. Beautiful, one more breath. And then exhale, walk your hands down and massage it down your legs, placing your hands, fingertips right on the ground. And as you inhale, lift your heart, stretch your arms, sit bones heavy, and exhale, round in your spine. Gently inhaling, rising, coiling in, and coming to sit. Pause, take a deep breath into the belly and exhale out. Coming to stand, 
And as we come to stand position, yeah, chair aim towards you. Stepping away, stepping back, feet hip distance apart. And from here, inhaling your arms up. Exhaling forward to the chair, finding your chair and shifting the weight forward, coming into sort of a plank position so we can load the bones of the arms. Step your feet away, lower your pelvis, coming into a chair plank, making sure your shoulders are just over your hands. And root down through your fingers, all the way down, pressing your fingers in, knuckles in, as if you could lift the middle center palms of your hands off the chair. From here, hugging all the muscles of your arms, gazing down, gazing forward, lift your pelvic floor, lift your navel, Next inhalation, step the right leg forward, coming into 90 degree with your front leg, and then gently pivot your back foot down, coming into warrior two. Coming into warrior two, getting low into warrior two, so you can feel deep stretch through the left side. Open hip, warrior two. Deep breath in, root down through your toes, root down through the edges of your feet, pressing the balls of your feet in so you can feel the arch lifted, hugging through the knee center, draw that energy into the baby toe, gently externally rotating, energetically rotating through the front hip. And then from here, exhale your arms, extend through the front leg, lift your toes, pivot on the heel, toe heel in for Malasana, staying wide, heels in, inhale your arms up, and then exhale, lower down any amount, coming into Malasana. Deep breath in. Lift the pelvic floor, hug your sit bones. Draw your knee centers towards the baby toes. Steady breath through, down through your big toes. One more breath. And then as you inhale, use your arms. Rise up, bring your arms up, toe heel your feet in, keep your arms up. Connecting ankles, knees, hug, lift your pelvic floor, hug your sit bones. Exhale your hands to the back, sit back, Utkatasana, chair pose, hold, steady breath. Apana, downward moving flow of energy. Gently massaging your lower back with your hands as you breathe. And inhaling, coming to stand tall, keep your legs together. Pressing in, hugging, release your hands, shift the weight forward and back. Feeling all of your toes, pressing down. Beautiful, coming to face your chair, feet together, inhale, arms come up, hands together. Exhale, forward fold, finding the chair, shifting the weight. Shoulders over the hands, coming into that chair plank. You can gently shift the weight forward and back, rolling onto the toes. 
Keep your core active, pelvic floor engaged, gently shifting forward and back. Hug your sit bones, hugging legs together. Navel in, pelvic floor activated. Beautiful, one more. And from here, step the left leg forward, right leg back and coming into warrior two. Focusing on opening the back hip, getting a little bit lower. A gentle pulsing that feels good. Getting a deep, good stretch. And then releasing the arms, extending through the front leg, pivot and toe heel in. Coming back to Malasana. Whenever ready, inhale, arms come up, stretch, and then exhale, Malasana. So if you can, you can come to Malasana low without collapsing, hands to heart, elbows in. Apana, Malasana. So Malasana indication is for healthy colon. Also helps to elimination, it helps to eliminate, so it's great for constipation. You're still hugging all the muscles, sphincters are not collapsing. And from here, exhale, hands down and rise up, nice and slow. Use your chair at any time, toe heel in. Staying in a forward fold, bring your hands to your thighs, sit back, coming into Utkatasana, holding, hugging, function of Ashti bone tissue is to hold in Sanskrit dharana, to hold, hold to hold, like increases like. And from here, inhaling, coming to stand, release your hands, shift the weight forward and back. Creating some space through the hips. Beautiful, coming to step the feet wide, bring your hands to your pelvis. And from here, we're going to do pelvic circles. Exploring, beginning small and growing the circles big. And reversing. And coming back to center. And from the center, coming to face the chair, feet together. Shift the weight forward and back and feel that weight in your toes, loading your toes, strengthening your feet. Coming in to inhale, arms come up. And then exhale, finding the table, finding your chair, shifting the weight, walking in. Coming into standing table. From here, toe heel your feet, feet hip distance apart. Draw the right knee in, shift the weight to the left, extend through the right leg. Lower the right hip, draw your toes in. So the leg that's floating, draw the toes in. Maybe inhale your left arm in front of you, gazing down, align your ears with your shoulders, extending, deep breath in, and out, for three, 
One last. Lengthen the spine and then exhale, slowly float the leg back. Put it down through your hands, shift the weight to the right, draw the left knee in, and with the left hip, we're going to circle. So inhaling, lift and open, exhale, kick back. Coming back. Inhaling, opening, exhale, kick back. Inhaling in and opening, exhaling, kick back. Now you're going to step back with your left leg, step forward with your right leg, high lunge. We're going to find that 90-90 angle here to load the femur bones even more, strengthening strong. Now we're moving energy here. Lift your pelvic floor. You can keep your hands right on the chair for support or inhale your arms up and then exhale down to the back. Fingers pointing down, palms press, pressing into the top of the hip bones. Focus on the front leg. One more breath. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, your hands to the chair. Shift the weight forward. Extend through the front knee and shift the weight forward and back. Bend your knees, extend. I'm just moving this energy, releasing any stagnation. And from here, strong front leg, hop the back leg forward. Bring your feet to the edges of your mat, heels pointing in, exhale down to Malasana. Hands to the heart. Hug your sit bones, hug your pelvic floor, lift a little bit higher, draw the knees towards the baby toes. From here, finding your chair, coming to rise up, press up, come to stand. Toe heel your feet in, all the way in, ankles touching, big toes touching. Take a deep inhale and lengthen the spine, exhale, sitting back to Utkatasana, checking in, making sure you can see your toes, inhale your arms, and then exhale your hands to your thighs. Press in, lengthen the spine, exhale, shoulders back, scoop pubic bone to navel, pelvic floor in, sit bones, lengthen and exhale, sit a little bit lower. Release your hands, connect belly to thighs if you can. Gaze forward, look forward, and inhale, extend through the legs, exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, rising, finding the chair, Step your feet back, coming into standing plank, chair plank. Shift the weight forward and back. Strong arms, loading into the bones. Loading the long bones of the arms. And from here, stepping in, finding the table. Feet hip distance apart, cat and cow for three. Looking forward, inhaling, drop the navel, and exhale, coil in. Inhaling, looking forward, drop the navel, exhale, coil in. And again, inhale, look forward, exhale, coil in. From here, shift the weight to the right, draw the left knee in. And from here, extend all the way up. It doesn't matter how high, drop the left pelvis, drop the left hip to square your hips. The tendency is to rotate and lift. And maybe inhale the right arm forward from here. Awareness on the navel, awareness on the spine, keeping the spine aligned. 
and lengthening, reaching, reaching the left heel towards the back wall, reaching the right arm towards the front wall, stretching, holding, strengthening, and then exhale, lower down, gently flow to your leg back, shift the weight to the left, draw the right knee in, and from here, circles. Inhaling to the side, exhale out. Keep your knee bent. Big circles, draw big circles with your knee. Two more, feeling your glutes. Hugging your glutes. One last. And we're going to step that leg back for high lunge. Finding that 90-90 square. Now we're going to load again, focusing on the front leg here. Deep breath in and out. Maybe inhaling your arms up. And back to the lower back, activating through the lower back, my mind. Steady breath. One more breath. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, find your chair. Walk your feet to the edges of the mat. Come into Malasana. Exhale your hips down, hands to heart. Maybe this time we'll lift the heels. So as you come into Malasana, lift the heels and come to strengthen your toes. Deep, steady breath. Exhaling your hands down, lower your heels, extend through the knees, lift your hips, and toe heel your feet in. Coming into a forward fold. Deep breath into the lower back. And from here, exhale, bend your knees, sit back and sit all the way down. Find your mat and come to sit in the middle of the mat. Coming into the boat pose. If you have the chair, we can use the chair. I'm going to find the Sit bones, the tripod, as you sit in the middle of the mat, facing a chair. Lengthen the spine, take a deep breath in, and from here, shift the way back, scoop your heels in. Bring your hands to your shins and draw your knees in. And from here, lengthen through the spine, soften through your neck, your face. Deep breath in and out. Draw your toes in, activate through the lower leg muscles, feel those muscles pressing into your hands. Beautiful. And from here, exhale, release. Bring your feet together in front of your pelvis. Open your knees wide. Take a deep breath in and align your shoulders with your hips as much as you can. Holding onto your legs, lengthen the spine. Open the heart and exhale, fold. Keeping the spine in alignment, we're going to gently pulse here. Inhaling, coming back a few inches, exhale your heart forward, lengthen the spine, folding from the hips. And 
on your next inhalation lift all the way up use your hands close your knees and from here holding on to your knees inhale draw your knees in and extend maybe your toes are touching the chair for balance for support bringing your legs to table Take a deep breath in and extend your arms out. Breathing deep into the core navel. One more breath. Exhaling, extend your left leg. And then lower the right knee, the right knee is bent, coming to Janu Sirsasana. So placing the right foot on the left inner thigh or just over the knee joint. And from here, inhale, open up, exhale, fold, bend forward towards your left knee, reach your right hand towards your left foot. And take a deep breath and exhale, lower it down, focus on your spine, staying in alignment. And inhaling, rising, bring your feet together, coming back to Padakonasana. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, rounding your spine all the way down, finding a deep stretch within your spine. You can even draw your chin to your chest. And then inhaling, rising. Bring your hands to your shins and use your sit bones as if your sit bones were little feet. We're going to lift one hip and then walk your sit bone forward, shift the weight, lift the other hip and walk your left sit bone forward. So you're rolling and walking your pelvis closer to your feet. See how close can you get to your feet. If you are leaving early, please sign your name into the chat box. Coming very close to the feet, pause, lengthen the spine. And from here, roll back, walking your sit bones one by one, shifting the weight, walking your sit bones back inch by inch, very slow movement, rock side to side, shift and lift one sit bone at a time. Beautiful. Coming back to center. Use your hands, close your knees. And from here, again, shifting the weight back, scoop your heels in, bring your legs to table, extend your arms, coming into Naukasana boat pose. Steady breath, five deep inhalations, exhalations, five rounds, deep breath. On your last exhale, shift the weight forward, extend the right leg, bend your left knee, Janu Sirsasana, knee to the head, inhaling up, exhale forward, fold, reach your left hand to your right foot, feel that energy as you align your heart towards the knee. Doesn't matter how low you go, how far you go, staying in alignment. Exhale forward. And 
Okay, inhale in rising. Bring your feet together. Now we're coming into full Pada Konasana. Inhale your arms up. Shift the weight forward. Kind of root down through your sit bones and exhale forward fold over your legs. Beautiful. Folding over. Deep breath into the lower back. Exhale and lower your heart. Deep breath, lumbar spine, thoracic spine, cervical spine, allow your head to hang heavy. And then inhaling, slowly rising up. Use your hands, bring your knees together, extend through the right leg, and then lift the right foot and cross over the leg, coming into seated twist. Now, tilting the pelvis forward to align, shoulder with the hip as much as you can. Relax through the right leg, wiggle, rotate in and out, soften through the hip. Then from here, draw your toes towards the right knee. So right foot, draw your toes. I know it's hard to see with all the colors blending in, my skin blending in with the chair, but you draw, you anchor through the right leg and tie back of your leg is anchoring down. You feel the sit bone, hug the sit bone, almost like lifting up. Uh huh. And from here, we're coming into a twist. Inhale the right arm up, exhale, twist. Hugging your knee in, you can lift your foot, hug in, open up. Sit bones heavy, lift your pelvic floor. Keep rooting down through the right leg. Steady breath, spine, support, strong spine, being supported, feeling supported. Exhale, come back to center, bring your legs together and come into a forward fold. Now you drop both of your feet in towards your knees, root down through the back of your legs. And then inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, forward fold, walk your hands forward. Gently connecting, pressing the back of your legs. You can bring your hands and massage your legs. I want you to Lift your heart up, and from here, you're going to seesaw your legs, pressing forward and back as if you were pressing on the gas pedal. Keep your toes in, so it's more of lengthening through the heels, back and forth, back and forth. From here, draw the right knee in. Hug in and then place it over, coming into seated twist on the other side. Draw your left toes in now, your left ankles flexed forward, activating through the front muscles, hugging, protecting through the left knee. Inhale your left arm up, exhale, twist, and pause. Hugging your right thigh towards your belly. Notice, bring awareness to the medial and lateral aspect of your right hip, feeling the muscles on the outside, feeling the muscles on the inside. Breathing deep. 
creating safe space for healing and regeneration. Inhaling, lengthen the spine, exhale, release. Release your legs, connect through your legs, draw your toes in, and again, exhale, forward fold. Now you're going to bend your knees, connect with your belly, reach for your feet. And from here, inhaling, rising, bring your hands behind you and shift the weight. Bend your knees, placing your feet wide, enough space so you can lower your knee to the side. All the way, we're coming to twist and shift the weight forward. Windshield wipers, exaggerate it. You're going to bring your arm forward and back, side to side. Beautiful, and from here, slowly make your way to lie on your back, the chair. Extend your arms along the body, palms facing down. And from here, we're going to point and flex through the ankles, align the legs to drain. Spread your toes, connect your toes, and begin to invert and evert. Do a little dance with your feet. And from here, I want you to externally rotate your feet and connect through your heels. Through down through your arms, you can even shift the pelvis side to side and walk your hands slightly in. So your thumbs are touching. Your thumbs are in L-shaped position underneath your pelvis, underneath your bum. So your hands are L-shaped, your thumbs are touching, you're feeling supported. From here, we're going to do these diamond shape exercises, which are great to strengthen the psoas muscle, just the major hip flexor. Also, it's a core asana, strengthening the core. So we exhale, legs are rotated, and then heels are connected. We exhale down, legs are straight, coming halfway. Your inhale, you pull your knees in, heels are connected. And from here, you close your knees over your belly and extend the legs out. So it's rotate, exhale, Inhale in, exhale out. Inhale to pose and rotate. Exhale halfway. Inhale, pull in, close. Exhale out. Inhale, exhale lower. Pull in, close. Exhale out. Okay, so we'll go eight like that whenever you're ready on your own pace. Draw your chin to your chest, extend through the cervical spine and keep your neck in alignment. Exhaling out, inhaling in, exhaling out, rotate. Keep your heel connected. Keep your core active. One last. 
strong legs, draw your knees into your chest and hug, gently rock side to side. Coming back to center, extend your arms to the side, extend your legs up, cross the right leg on top of the left leg and draw your knees in. So use your hands, bring your hands to your shins and then gently draw your knees in. Lengthen through the spine, chin to chest, lengthen through the back of your neck. Steady breath. Exhale, your hands only to the side, plant them down. When you're ready, exhale your legs to the right side, anchor through the left shoulder and turn your head to the left. And then slowly inhale, look to the right, roll onto the right side, bring your legs together and then back, knees to chest, lie on your back, hug your knees in and pause, gently rock side to side. Extend your arms along the body, extend your legs, eight diamond shapes. Inhale, rotate, exhale, lower, inhale, pull in, exhale, extend, seven more, exhale out, inhale in. Four more, chin to chest, three more. Two more. One last. Hug your knees in. Rock side to side. Extend your legs out. Cross right leg on top of the left leg. Draw your knees in. I think I finally learned counting from Jane Fonda from that record that I'm watching. <laughs> Being with no Wi-Fi is fun. Extend your arms and then roll onto the left side, just the legs anchor through the right shoulder and draw your head to the right side. Breathe into the right hip. And exhale, gently roll onto the left side, scoop your knees together and come back to your back, hug your knees. And gently rock side to side. One last set of eight diamonds. So arms extended, legs up. Inhale, rotate, exhale, lower, draw in, extend as you exhale. Six more. Four. Two. And one last. Bring your feet together, Pada Konasana and Lying position, Supta Pada Konasana, feet together, knees open, palms come to the hip creases, exhale, extend your elbows, create that gentle traction through the lumbar spine, traction through the hip joints, breathe. Relax through your shoulders, neck, face. And from here, release, bring your knees together, knock your knees together and toe your feet to the edges of the mat. We're coming into Shavasana in this position to release any tension from the lower back, your SI joints. So your knees are in, your knees are in, 
and your feet are wide on the edges of the mat. You're going to stay here for Shavasana. Arms open. Use this moment to meditate on your breath, inviting the energy, gathering the energy, gathering prana energy into the body. Visualize this prana coming in through the nose. Up, filling in the head space, filling in the throat, the chest, arms, belly, pelvis, legs, ankles, feet. Each breath brings vitality, brings health, brings joy brings lightness to your body. And lengthen your inhalation. And as you lengthen your inhalation, bring that awareness into your heart, into the middle of the chest, spiritual heart. And as you inhale, allow that energy to expand from your heart space. Exhaling, diffusing to the rest of the body and beyond the boundaries of your skin. And if you still feel any heaviness, stickiness, tension in the body, take even a deeper breath and breathe into that area. As you exhale, soften and relax. And from here, slowly, gently lift your heels and then pivot, drop your heels down, lift your toes, pivot on the heel and drop your toes down. Very slowly, pivoting, toe healing into feet together. And as you get your feet together, rotate through your arms, internally ro rotate your arms, externally bend your elbows, bring some movement to your arms, to your shoulders. And from here, draw your chin to your chest and gently draw your head side to side. Coming to center, draw your knees in. And exhale to lie on the right or left side of your body. Slowly coming to rise, coming to sit with your eyes closed. Draw your hands to your heart, gently bow your chin to your heart. Take a moment to connect to your intention. Deep breath into the heart space, feeling the gratitude, tapping into the gratitude, gratitude for this breath, for today, for this morning, for this practice, gratitude, sending gratitude to everyone connecting here, virtually connecting. I wanted to wish you all have a great day, have a great weekend. See you soon. Namaste. Thank you for being here.